In this part of the lesson, we're now going to export our game into Android or iOS devices. Now, since our game is already finished, we could now make this object, our lines, to, for its alpha to become transparent. All right? So even if that is transparent, the code will still work. All right? So notice, uh, let's see if, so even if my line is transparent, the code would still work. Um, let's see. Let's probably comment the code first when it intersects with the pipe in order for us to see if the line is working. Alright, so intersect with pipe line 1 times 2. So for this one, let's comment this one first. Alright, so just use this one to uncomment. And let's see if, if, if it intersects with the line. There we go. Alright, so if it intersects with the line, the score is still working even if it's invisible. Alright, so let's uncomment this one again. Alright, now this time, we're now going to convert this one into an Android or mobile device. Alright, so in order to do that, just go to File, Publish Settings. And then, over here on the player, choose Air for iOS or Air for Android. In my case, I'll first choose Android. Alright? Then, click on the settings. Make sure this APK file is saved. Let's just save that here on our desktop and call Flappy Bird. And I'll call this Bird Android. Alright? Alright, so if you want the full screen, make that full screen and so on. The title would be, let's call that as Flappy Bird. Alright, and then, if you want, you could now change the version number and so on. But over here, on the de deployment, we didn't doubt to create a certificate. Right? And the certificate, I want that to be saved here. Again, on my desktop. And I'll save that here on my Flappy Bird. Alright, so create. And then publish your name, just type in your name. Alright, the Lasalle College of St. Benilde. So don't worry, creating a certificate in Android is free. College of St. Benilde, right? However, when you register in the App Store, make sure, make sure that you have to pay a one-time $25 fee. Okay? Password. So you could input any password you like. There you go. Save as. I'll save that under desktop and then Flappy Bird. There you go. I'll call this as my bird certificate. Alright, press OK. Alright, so you would see here, self-signed certificate has been created. Press OK. Now. If you want, so just type the password here, the password that we inputted a while ago, and then just plug in your Android device on the on your USB slot. I don't have an Android device, so just plug it in. Make sure click on the device released, and then just click install application on the connected Android device, and click this one as well. What happens here is once you publish your file now, your APK file will now be automatically installed in your Android device. Over here, on the icons, you now have to generate an icon, icon which has this following resolution. So, you would see I created now an icon here. Make sure to save that one as a PNG file. Alright? So, if it's not a PNG file, Flash would not accept that one. So, just select this one. Open up your file, and then that is the 36 by 36 resolution. So I'll select this one, select this one, then 48, there you go, 72, there you go. Under permissions, just select, just check everything, right? There you go. All right, but since I don't have any under device, I'll just click on the emulator release, right? And then click publish. So you would see that now publishing. All right, so let's go to our folder. If you look at on our folder here, 
I would see now my APK file here. What you will need to do now is to drag and drop this APK file on your Android device. Right? So that is how easy it is to publish your file for Android. What if I want to publish this for, for an iOS device? So in order to publish that for an iOS or for iPhone or iPad, just click on File, Publish Settings, and then choose Air for iOS. Click on this one. Now again, if Android is for APK, um, iOS is .ipa. Let's call it Flappy Bird 1.0. If you want, you could change these settings if you want. But in my case, I want to leave it as it is. Deployment here. Now, um, you need to buy a certificate from the App Store. And that costs $99 per hour. So if you go to Apple Developer. Uh -huh, there we go. Let's just wait that for the load. So while it's loading. I have now, I bought a certificate from the App Store, and I'll just now open up that certificate file. So go to Dropbox, and then I think it's saved somewhere here. iOS, iOS, iOS. There you go. iOS certificates. And then this is what I bought. Then my password. Then remember password for this provision. And then again. I'll open now the second file that Apple gave to me. Mm -hmm. there, you go. there you go. And then select your mobile provision. All right. Now, um, let's see. If the, there you go. All you have to do now is to register as an Apple developer, and they will give you a certificate uh, with the following two files if you pay them ninety-nine dollars. And you have to pay that every year right? for ninety-nine dollars. So you have to pay ninety-nine dollars every year. All right. So. Just leave this as is. Go to icon. Similar to the Android device, we need to generate the following PNG files with these following resolutions. So for icon 29, uh huh, that is saved under my Flappy Bird. So icon 29, 57. There you go. So make sure they are PNG files. If not, a Flash would not accept that one. I forgot to generate. The file for the 100 by 14 resolution. So I'll generate that later. So this is 48 as well as 72. There you go. All right? So that's my icon. So I'll generate an icon that has a resolution of 114 by 114. So I'll just do that in Photoshop. Press OK. And I'll save that one as a PNG file. And then icon 114. Right. Generate it here. 114. Right. So once you're done with this one, just click publish. And your file now will publish. So while that's publishing, there, here you go. You just have to register here. Just over here for the iOS developer program. And then you have to input your details. Let's see. Hmm. Anyway, um, while well, that's loading, take note that this is only for educational purposes. And if you probably create a game similar to similar to Flappy Birds, probably the company will sue you for copyright infringement. But in this case, this is just for educational purposes. All right. So. Mm -hmm. Then here, enroll now. See, as I've said a while ago, you have to pay $99 per year. So click enroll now and fill up your details. So I think that's done. So click OK. Let's see our folder if it, it, if it generates the IPA file. Mm -hmm. Where was that saved? There you go. So the IPA file now is saved under this directory. Now in order to install that in your iPhone, you have to open up iTunes. So, oh. And then, so let's see if it's open. There you go. So while that's open, what you need to do now is click on this apps and then drag your IPA file here. So just click, um, I'll just click replace. 
and don't don't load there you go all right so my icon now is saved here what you need to do now is to connect your iphone device on your to connect your iphone device on your laptop or on your computer so i'm connecting it now there you go uh -huh. it's, it's hard to let's see there you go connect and then connect it here right let's just wait for it to detect there it has now detected my iphone all right so um if you want you could sync your iphone device so i'll just wait that for for my iphone to sync and i'll see you later i'll just pause this video all right now that is now finished syncing all you have to do now is go to your apps folder here and you would see now that I have my icon here called Flappy Bird. Just select that one. So just check this one. Then click on Sync Apps. Then just select the IPA file here. You would see now my icon here. Click on that one. You would see my file, or you would see my IPA file being saved. Right? So it's taking a long time to load, but just simply click this one and then click on apply what would happen now is once you click apply your app now would be saved onto your iphone so that is how easy it is in for you to create now a flappy bird game and install it on your iphone device or your android device so um if you like this lesson um either comment or if you want you could donate to my paypal it's reks at gmail.com all right so there you go. If you want, you might donate some might donate donate some goods or cash at this email address. And thank you for watching.